Okay, so when I was young, the Independent Baptist Church of Bathurst went around door knocking, asking if anyone would like to attend their church on Sunday or Sunday school or a water programs for kids. They also offered a bus service to pick us up. My mum, if everybody knows my mum, how funny she is, <laughs> was a single mum at the time and couldn't be happy to ask kids to go to church to give her a break from the time from time to time. So at the age of four, I started going to Sunday school with my sister and my brother, Heidi and Jai. And on Thursday evenings, we attended Awana. We enjoyed going every week and it made, we made good friends and became part of an awesome, loving and caring church. And during uh, Bible study with pastor, when I was in primary school, that I asked the pastor's wife to help become a Christian as I was, already, as I was ready to follow the Lord. I was around eight, the same age, a little bit younger than Reham. I continued to attend church and youth group growing up until I was 17, but struggled to find a church once I moved to Sydney to live with my sister Heidi. It was not until later in life when my nieces Natara and Sienna kept asking if we could join a church. In 2017, we went to the Christmas carols at my son's school that was run by Chingabi Baptist Church. We loved every minute of it and was warmly greeted by such a wonderful people from the church and the children loved it. They all kept asking all night if they could go to church. And so the very next day, we attended church for the first time at Chin Gabby Baptist Church. It was once again a warmly greeted by everyone. We really felt like we fitted in and have continued to attend from, day, from that day on. We have watched people getting baptised in the church, which encourage us to do the same. So today I'm here standing before my church family and taking this oath to be fully devoted to my Lord Jesus. I stand here alongside my two beautiful nieces and my son, who I am forever proud of. Together we promise to follow the Lord and serve him in all of our ways. Yay. With a little poem that I've written for them. A necklace for your baptisms now hangs nicely around your neck. This will hold a sacred memory of the day you were blessed. Wear this necklace as you grow old and on your special days, as a reminder that God loves you in so many ways. Once you have grown up, always keep this necklace safe as an oath to the day you took God to be your one and only saviour. This will continue to remind you of all that you have sacrificed in order to be your devotion to your Lord. Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added to you. Amen. Thank you for his life and his new life. 
Christ. We pray that you will guide him now by your Holy Spirit. And we pray that you will bless him and his family and help him to sustain his faith towards the end. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. 